This is how to fix your TikTok live alerts. Of course, we're talking here about the TikTok widgets from Isaac Kogan. You've probably followed one of my other videos to set these up in the past, but if you haven't, it's linked in the description. As ever, you can use the timestamps to navigate through the video and you can join my Discord for help, which is linked in the description. So we'll start with the simplest fix. If you've been using the alerts before the 22nd of July, 2022, then the alerts have been broken by an update that TikTok made. The fix is pretty simple though. You just go in the terminal and type npm update like i'm doing now this should download the update and once it's downloaded you should be able to start the alerts again just by typing node server.js into the terminal as usual if your alerts still aren't working after running the update then keep watching and i'll show you how to fix them so let's start by making sure we have the correct version of node.js installed and the version you install should match how many bits your operating system has so here it says 64 so let's double check if I have a 64-bit operating system. And to do that, I'm just going to type about into my Windows search bar. Click on about your PC. And as you can see here in the system type, it says I have a 64-bit operating system. So I've got the correct version installed. If you don't have the correct version installed, go on the Node.js website. I've linked it in the description. Click on other downloads here underneath LTS. And under Windows Installer MSI here, just download the correct one. Of course, make sure you uninstall the other one. You can right click the Windows icon, click on Apps and Features, scroll down until you find Node.js and just uninstall it before you install the new version. So if your alerts are still broken, I recommend completely deleting everything and reinstalling it. Before you delete, if you had any important settings saved like sounds here, make sure you copy and paste them and save them somewhere like Discord or Notepad. So I'm gonna completely delete everything I'm just going to close out of VSC here. I'm going to open my file explorer, find where I've saved my alerts. I'm going to click into the folder and I'm going to delete everything named TikTok widgets master. Now I've fully deleted the alerts. Let's go back to the project and I've linked this in the description and let's download them again. So I'm going to click on code at the top, download the zip. And now I'm just going to choose where to save them into my alerts folder here. So let's unzip it and look at the folder structure. And from my experience, people not understanding the folders is what causes the most errors. So I use WinRAR to extract these. You should be able to do it normally, but I will put a download link if you want to use WinRAR as well. So I'll click extract here and it's now created a folder named TikTok Widget Master. And this is our most important folder here. If we don't run the alerts from this folder, then the alerts will not work. And I'll show you what that means in VSC in a second, but let's double click in. I click on public and I click into sounds. And if you're playing any custom sounds, this is where to upload all your different sound files. So now let's open VSC again. When you're opening Visual Studio Code, you might want to run it as admin. So just search for it in your search bar, right click it and select run as administrator. Give it permission. And now you've opened it as admin. If you did have anything open, click on file, click on close folder. Don't save any changes. Now let's open our newly downloaded alerts. And this step's very important. This is where most people experiencing errors make the mistake. So let's click file and open folder in the top left corner. And this is where we have to be very careful and select the correct folder. If we pick the wrong folder, the alerts aren't gonna work. So I'm going into my alerts folder here and this TikTok widgets master is the folder you want. But to double check you're selecting the correct folder, I recommend you double click on the folder and if the folder beneath says public, then you're in the correct place. If you've double clicked and you don't have a folder named public beneath it, you're in the wrong place and you need to keep looking for this TikTok widgets master folder. So I'll just press this button here. That sent us up one level in a directory. I'll single click on TikTok widgets master and I'll click on select folder. So now we've selected the correct folder. So now let's do the set of basics. Let's click on terminal new terminal and you can see it says here we're in the correct folder we're in tiktok widgets master let's type npm i which you should only ever have to type once when you first installed or reinstalled the alerts you can ignore any messages like this as long as it says it's added the packages should be good to go after typing npm i there's now a new step we must also type npm update and that's now installed the new code which makes the alerts work after the 22nd of July 2022. Now one issue I've seen some people having is having multiple terminals open just by continually opening new terminals here. So make sure you only have one terminal open. You'll have issues if you don't. So to close terminals, see where it says PowerShell on the right here. 
Just press the bin icon and that'll make sure you've only got one terminal open. Next up, some people have issues with the port that the alerts are using. So let's click on server.js on the left side. If you can't see this, by the way, click the paper icon so you can see it. We'll click on server.js, we'll scroll down. We're gonna change port 8082 to 8099, which some people seem to have more success with. And very crucially, I'm gonna press file, save, or you can type control and S, and that's changed the port to 8099. You will be able to tell that your file needs saving by seeing this little circle at the top next to the file name. Before you start the alerts, make sure there's no circles at the top, save every file. So let's click back into config.json and the unique ID field here is your username, but let's test it on somebody who's live right now. So I'm gonna test this on Nighthawks NH. So we'll just type his name in, go file save, and then in the terminal here, I'll type node server.js. It's going to give me the localhost link. I'm going to control click it. It's going to open it in Chrome here. And as you can see, the alerts are now showing, but we have no sound. If you want to hear the sound, simply just click on it. And now, as you can hear, the sounds are coming through. So now the alerts are working properly, but we need to make sure we can display them on the stream using OBS or Streamlabs. So let's go through all the common issues with OBS and Streamlabs. Let's start with updating OBS. If you have an outdated version, then the alerts might not run. So let's simply click on help and check for updates to confirm that your OBS is up to date. If you're using Streamlabs, don't worry, it automatically checks for updates when you start it. Next up, if you have a dual PC, you need to make sure that both Visual Studio Code and Streamlabs are open on the same PC. This local host link here, as implied, is a local link that only works on your PC. So let's look at the correct way to add the alert as a browser source. And this is basically the same in both Streamlabs and OBS. So we'll start by copying the link. Instead of pressing Control C, let's Control click We'll open it in Chrome again, and we'll copy it from Chrome. The reason being, Control C in the terminal actually stops the server. So we don't need to keep this browser page open. Let's close it and go back in our OBS. Let's click the plus button at the bottom, click on browser. We'll name it TikTok Alerts. We'll press OK, and we'll paste in the localhost link here. Don't take this local file, even though as I explained, it technically is a local file. Uh, we'll set the width and height to whatever your using i'm using 1920 by 1080 you might be using the opposite 1080 by 1920 you can leave all these other options exactly the same and we'll press ok and as you can see the alerts are already coming through now here's a quick obs tip if you want to get rid of the profile picture hold the alt button drag down until the profile picture is gone keep in mind that will also hide the gift symbol when somebody sends you a gift so now let's go through the important process when you start your stream and it's critical that you do these in the correct order. So we're going to start by obtaining our stream key before we start the alerts. So you know how to do that. Just press go live, enter all the correct relevant information, press go live again. And now you've got your stream key and this has technically started your live stream already. And what this has done is created the room ID that the TikTok alerts need. So now let's click back into VSC. Of course, we need to update our username. So this is my rich YouTubers account. Type it in, make sure you save. I'm pressing Control S. You can do file save if you want. You can see at the bottom here that I had the alerts running for somebody else. So very important, I'm gonna click in here, press Control C, which cuts the connection to the server. So now I can start the alerts for my own account. So now let me start up the alerts as per usual by typing node server.js. If you've made an update to your alerts or if you were testing someone else's alerts before you went live, you might want to double click on the alerts, scroll down and click on refresh cache of current page. Click OK. That will make sure it's running your most up to date settings. If you're getting these messages here in the terminal about client connection disconnected or TikTok connection disconnected, this is perfectly normal. Don't worry about this. I don't know why it does this, but it does it for me all the time and I don't get any issues with my alerts. So that is how to fix your TikTok live alerts. If you still need any help, then come in my Discord and read the Fix Alerts channel. And I can also personally fix your alerts through remote access or screen sharing. There's a link in the description for that, or you can also simply read the Fix Alerts channel in my Discord server.
The developer Isaac releases these for free, so if you want to send him some money to say thanks for the alerts, I'll put his PayPal in the description. Help me get a thousand subscribers and join the YouTube Partner Program by hitting the sub button, and thanks for watching.